What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you the war recap video to week 5 in CWO Premiere Forge from Steel versus One Hive Genesis and FFS walking away with the very sweet victory 84 to 83 was the final as far as total destruction FFS had 93.03% against One Hive Genesis's 93.27% total destruction. They did beat us on total destruction. I'll show you guys in a little bit how exactly that went down. And I'm going to tell you, this was an insane win for FFS. Not only were there a lot of people doubting FFS that we were not going to win this war, but it was also a personal victory seeing as a lot of us in Forge from Steel originally came from the One Hive Genesis family. So not only was a big victory for the clan, but a personal victory for a lot of us in the Forge from Steel family. And I'm going to tell you guys, on both sides, the activity level to this war was absolutely insane. Pretty much from when the nines went in all the way to the very end of the war in the heavy hitter action, you pretty much had to pre-click that screen and when an attack went down in order to get in, I mean, these spectator slots filled up so fast, absolutely insane, but we'll go ahead. I'm going to show you guys exactly what happened. We'll go ahead and look at each side of the map, break everything down. I'm going to tell you, as far as the 10 v 11 game on the one hive Genesis side, absolutely on point, big shout out to all the town hall, uh, 10 v 11 guys over on the Genesis side, they went four for four cleared our 11s no problem and not only that this is how the total destruction went down on shy guy they did get an 83 percent two star so had insane amount of total destruction damn near tripled his base with a town hall 10 i give credit where credit is due and that's basically how they were able to beat us in the total destruction department so big shout out to them and they did have two 10 v 10s this war the difference though I'm going to show you guys. The difference was their dip game. If we go ahead and look, they did have three dip fails. So uh, Super Jared and William did get the six packs uh, going 11 v 10, but they did have three dip fails, which ultimately decided the factor of these wars, which they always do. It always comes down to the heavy hitters, uh, but they did have two 10 v 10s. They did triple Oki 10 v 10, and they also tripled Hulk 10 v 10. Uh, their 9 v 9 game, I'm sure it wasn't the, the best that it usually is. They did struggle with quite a few of our nines. I believe they had to dip maybe three or four of them with their Town Hall 10s. But they did have a few scouts. So, um, But that's basically how the, the nines broke down on their side. On our side, we did go four for five 10 v 11. So we only had one fail. Uh, it was very, very close. But... Our 10v11 game was also on point, going 4 for 5, not too shabby at all. And we did have one 10v10, which was right here. Uh, Jacob, big shout out to Jacob, crushing that base. And, and right here, if you look right here, this was the difference in the war. We only had one dip fail, only one dip fail, so we did go 7 for 8. Um, on our 11 v 10 action and I'm gonna tell you guys the nines is what really set the stage for this war I'm gonna tell you guys our town hall nines there's in the premier breakdown there's six um, or there's there's 16 town hall nines 12 of them we fresh tripled 12 of their bases we fresh tripled 9v9 only had four fails and I, I believe we had 12 if not 13 scouts we were able to scout every single one of these town hall tens so huge 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 shout out to all of our town hall nines but that's basically what went down in the war so without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the first replay we got yaji he's gonna be coming in doing it with a queen charge lalo so go ahead and check out how he breaks this base down, dropping the king on the builder hut over at nine o'clock and making sure that when he drops his healers, they don't aggro onto the king as he obviously being a queen charge. He wants the healers to make sure they stay on the queen. So he goes ahead and pops kind of an early ability just to clear that trash out of the way, making sure the queen funnels exactly where he wants her to go. So the healers are on her, no problem. Goes ahead, drops one wall breaker, tests the area knows that it's clear did drop a rage 
So I was able to get that wall broke, no problem, as he is going to be charging this area, getting that AD, the enemy CC, and the queen. Goes ahead and drops another rage. If you saw that, double layer wall break. Watch that again, guys. Double layer wall break, drop, pre-drop that rage, drop the wall breakers, and was able to get the other compartment leading to that AD that's just below the two air sweepers. So really good execution on that. And he is going to be doing it having a Lalo on the back end for this base after his queen just does some work. She's going to take out the queen platform right there. Go ahead and lock onto this cannon. Uh, and he does have some minions down here on these mines just trying to clear that trash. Goes in, drops down another rage. After that cannon goes down, locks onto the air defense, which opens up this base to start the Lalo portion. Drops the CC Hound first, followed up by just a few loons on that mortar, and drops that haste to make sure the loons do not get too far behind of the hounds. He does still have one more haste uh, that he has to deploy. There it goes right there. And this base is already halfway destroyed. Does have a Tesla on the back end of the base. Not going to be an issue. Uh, basically swag the uh that scaly spell uh did help kind of take out that expo and distract the king a little bit but he just has way too many loons left up and i believe even swags this hound that camp hound is pretty much at full health sitting on top of that air defense and just has that archer tower and that wizard tower left and he has trash he has minions uh, wizards help clean up all this trash all around the base. So really good hit by Yaji, breaking that one down, doing it with a double layer queen charge Lalo. Big shout out to Yaji getting the six pack. Let's go ahead and check out the next replay. Next up, we got Poor self control, my main man PSC, gonna be doing it with a very sexy CB Lalo taking out Tornado Top Hat. Big shout out to uh, TTH, longtime friend. Known him a very long time. Big shout out to TTH. Doing a good job leading Genesis. So let's go ahead and check out how he breaks this base down. Does have a wizard up at 12 o'clock. And he did drop a loon on that mortar that was next to that archer tower. So he's already basically started his funnel with a loon and a wizard. Obviously a baby drag. Um, over at the two o'clock area, just working on those high HP buildings over there, followed up by just a few wizards and just sets up a lovely funnel for his heroes. No wall breakers, just goes ahead and jumps right in as he is trying to get the enemy CC, enemy archer queen and that air defense taken care of. And as queen does go on a little bit of a walk here, goes ahead and pops the ability, does find a few Teslas though, uh, te Teslas though. So it worked out okay. Uh, did have the baby drag coming out of the CC, but the poison was able to take care of it. And here comes his Lala portion starting over on the upper left hand side of the base and still has a rage and three more haste after dropping that first one. So it just has all kinds of spells for the Lala portion of this attack. So he does have that CC hound going to be collapsing on that air defense kind of right in the center of the base. And he does have a whole lot of loons just working around the uh, working around this core of this base. CC Hound still up, eats one Sam right there, goes ahead and pops, but he, all air defenses are down at this point and does still have a raid spell. He does still have three air targeting defenses left, being those two archer towers and that wizard tower. So it was very patient on dropping this final rage. There it goes right there, takes out the archer tower, they clump up onto the cannon and they beeline it, take out the archer tower and there's just way too many loons left for that wizard, for that little wizard tower to handle. And he has minions and all kinds of pups and a wizard cleaning up all this trash, completely wrecked that base. So big shout out to PSC, breaking down that base, CB Lalo style. Good job on the three star, really enjoyed it. One of my favorite attacks. All right, here we got third up. We got Gooves coming in. Now we saw two air attacks. Let's go ahead and check out a couple ground attacks from our Town Hall 9s. We got Gooves doing it with the classic Stoned Hobo. Uh, figured with this air defense placement, going air probably wasn't the, the best option for this base. So went ahead and went with ground. So we'll see how he breaks this base down. Entering over on the left-hand side. Has a real nice funnel. Did have a poison to catch that enemy Archer Queen. So they will take her out, no problem. Getting a lot of work done from that baby drag. Still has wizards funneling um, those elixir collectors over there. So this has a huge funnel. 
no doubt where those bowlers are headed. Goes ahead and drops a jump going leading into the base. Has a nice early rage right there, right in that Island Expo compartment. Second jump down, bowlers just destroying from inside that compartment. Just kind of opens up this base. Uh, and he was able to get the bowlers inside of there. So he's already going to be at pretty much 50%. Half the base already gone. Still has his Archer Queen ability. Goes ahead and drop, uh, pops the King ability right there as they went inside the second Island Expo compartment. Bowlers still up before he even deploys hogs. Did drop one heal kind of by that Wizard Tower uh, farm down there on the bottom of the base down there at 6 o'clock. And there is just way too much... Uh, he has way too many troops left for this base to handle. Just has a Tesla and a mortar left over. Mortar's not going to be doing too much to all these troops right here. And it's pretty much cleanup at this point. That base just got completely wrecked. Swag the Archer Queen ability. Popped it kind of early right there just to make sure that uh, he doesn't run out of time on cleanup. But he does have some archers and he does have a wizard down there helping with this cleanup. He's already going to be at 93%. And this base was completely wrecked. So good job to M. Gooves getting that three star on Aladar. Big shout out to Mike. Always wrecking these bases. Okay, and for our fourth and final Town Hall 9 replay, we got Richie going up against Mr. Yazbak, a.k.a. Devin, going to be coming in here, also going ground, going, doing it with Stone Hobo. So go ahead and check exactly how he breaks this base down. Does drop one golem with the queen behind, and he does have a few wizards just kind of helping create this funnel, uh, making sure that the bowlers do not go walking around this base. So just get a nice funnel set up over there at 9 o'clock. Wizard just taking out all these defenses. Goes in, drops down second golem as that can is distracted on his first golem. And here comes a third golem on that mortar right down there at 6 o'clock. And does have a baby drag just helping out create this funnel as the archer towers are distracted. So just getting really good value from all of his troops on this entry right here. No wall breakers, goes ahead and just drops one jump, just kind of opening up this entire base as those two compartments are, you know, are, are kind of, uh, you know, these longer compartments that are basically just going to open up the whole base and he's just going to get tons of value from these bowlers under rage. Goes ahead and drops one heal spell for his kill squad, the other heal spell he will be using on the hogs when he brings those in on the back end and if you take a look at the base there's really only a few point defenses left as the kill squad is still distract or as the defenses are still distracted on his kill squad goes ahead and starts dropping in his hogs and they're just trimming these defenses one by one uh hogs uh hogs say hello to one single bomb not gonna be too much of an issue he does still have a nice heal spell that he drops right in that mini test of the farm in that island ad compartment and they do hit another single giant bomb but under heal not going to do any damage to him last defense to go down is that cannon swags of poison and the archer queen ability so really good job to richie breaking this base down a very good ground attack also doing it with stone hobo so big shout out to richie really bringing it this war good job man now we'll go ahead and check out some of our heavy hitter action. This was our one and only 10v10 three-star that we had this war. So you know we got to show it on YouTube. We got Jacob going to be doing it with a Sui Hero Lalo. Going to get really good value. Drops that queen down as he is going to be basically suiciding her in to grab that air defense right there. And he does have a baby drag. Uh, just trying to set up this funnel as he does have a BK Valk kill squad. Goes in, drops down the jump. So his target here is getting that Inferno Tower down and also taking out the enemy Archer Queen and any other defenses. He's also going to be grabbing that Air Sweeper as well. Goes in, drops or pops BK ability. And he's already starting the Lalo. No hesitation, drops his CC and Camp Hound, followed up by a whole lot of loons. Going to be meeting that haste right there. Once that air defense is down, does drop uh, another camp hound up at 12 o'clock, followed up by a haste and just a few loons. Goes and drops a nice rage right in the core. And he does get a decent loon split right here as they're going to take out that inferno tower. There goes that group taking out that air defense right in the center. So all air defenses are down at this point, but does still have a whole wad 
of wizard towers, a Tesla farm, and a bunch of archer towers, but he does have two heals that he saved for his loons as they are taking all kinds of splash damage and all that high DPS coming from that area down there with that Tesla farm. But with that heal and those whole water loons was not able to catch up. And once this wizard tower goes down, we knew that this base was absolutely wrecked, was absolutely wrecked, still had a minute left on the clock when this went down. There goes the last defense was that archer tower. And if you look at his pups and his minions has all kinds of cleanup left. No doubt that this was a three star. Big shout out to Jacob, always coming through with his plans, his input. The guy has a lot of knowledge in this game. Huge shout out to Jacob with our one and only 10v10 of this war. Thank you for these plans and helping out our other Town Hall 10s. Good job on that attack. And we will go ahead and check out one of our 11v10s this war. Again, big shout out to all of our Town Hall 11s going 7 for 8 on these dips. Everyone knows how crucial these dips are in these competitive wars. So basically what Shy Guy is going to be doing on this one is going to suicide his heroes as he's going to be taking out quite a few air targeting defenses trying to set up the show for the Lalo portion. He already, he already has two Teslas that he took out that were, that were blocking that first Inferno Tower over there at 9 o'clock. Going to go ahead and take out that Wizard Tower. And under ability, he's going to go ahead and get the second one. Also gets another Tesla taken out with the BK under his ability and that baby drag falling behind him. And Queen isn't directly able to target that Inferno Tower, but now the pathing has been created to where he can uh, he can target that Inferno Tower directly. So he's going to be starting his Lala portion up here at 12 o'clock, Warden on Air, falling behind the loons, goes in and drops a haste on that first wad to go ahead and take out that very first Inferno Tower followed by a heal spell. Right here, he drops a Rage right on top of the enemy Archer Queen, followed up by the Skeleton spell. So not only is he helping out his Skellies take out the enemy Archer Queen, but also getting those Balloons under Rage, working through this core right here. Just has one air defense left and a whole wad of Loons. Still has four in the bag. So all air defenses are down at this point just has an expo that wizard tower and that archer tower left in that core over on the left hand side and he has about a hundred loons left over four loons for cleanup even has a rage that he swagged and just has these minions and pups cleaning up all this trash goes ahead and drops it right on the clan castle so big shout out to shy guy on uh, in this war with the six pack, he has been coming through, smashing these bases with air. So big, big shout out to Shy Guy. And again, a big shout out to all of our 11 v 10 guys going seven for eight this war. So guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this war recap. I hope you enjoyed the attacks that I featured. And this was a very, very sweet victory. A lot of people doubt us, did not think Forge from Steel would have been able to take out one Hive Genesis. And we did final 84 to 83. FFS walking away with the victory. I do not want to forget our six pack shout outs. A uh, big six pack shout out to Captain Crunch and Shy Guy and also Captain Crispy as far as the uh, 11 v 10, or as, our, as far as our, excuse me, as far as our Town Hall 11s go. As far as our 10 v 10, big shout out to Jacob. Cannot give you enough credit for that triple that basically ultimately won us this war. And as far as our Town Hall 9 six packs, we had Charlie. Uh, big shout out to Charlie. Can't touch this, slob on my gob, and Yaji. There were only four. Again, guys, we went uh, out of the 16 Town Hall lines, we did fresh triple 12 of them. So only a few guys, if you do the math, only a few guys are going to be able to get um, the Town Hall 9 six packs. But I will say we were able to scout every single Town Hall 10, which was the goal that we set for ourselves and we met it. Just a big shout out to everybody in Forge from Steel. Our CWL record in the Goblin Division in the Gold Conference is now 4-1. and one. 
We did have that one loss from FYSB, but we bounced back and we have now set the momentum to keep pushing forward. And we are looking forward to our next war against Marshall's Nation, which is this upcoming weekend. I hope, again, I hope you guys enjoyed the war recap video. We had a lot of fun this war. Big shout out to all my boys in One Hive Genesis. Love you all. This is Riggs from Clashing FFS. Please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the very next video. Thank you.